Milwaukee Bucks, they make a nice little deal here, trading for Patrick Beverly from the Philadelphia 76ers for Cameron Payne and the second round pick. So Pat Beverly, another season, another team or two he's on. And he's really bounced around the league here as Pat Beverly on the year. 6.3 points a game, 3.1 rebounds, 3.1 assists, and 43% from the field in terms of fantasy basketball. He's still not going to have value is Patrick Beverly, but he's going to be a player that's a good defender, obviously. And this Buck team, we know they don't need any more offense. When you got Giannis on this roster, Chris Middleton, obviously Damian Willard, these type of ball players, and Malik Beasley, who's a three-point sniper in Brook Lopez. Beverly's just brought in to play good defense, and a guy could hit some corner threes when they need him. So, like I said, no fantasy value, but it's a real-life move and a better upgrade over a camera pain, I believe. I like the move for the Milwaukee Bucks. And now Cameron Payne going to Philly. They needed a little bit more scoring punch off the bench. And I think Cameron Payne at this point of his career is a better scorer to do that for this Philly team than a Beverly. But still, he's not going to have value as well, in my opinion, for fantasy basketball. 6.2 points a game, 1.3 rebounds, 2.3 assists, 0.1 threes, and 45% from the field. So both these players aren't going to have fantasy value. But I believe this trade fits for both teams where Philly was looking for a more scoring minded offensive player off the bench at the guard position and the Bucks they're just looking for a defensive guy to hit that occasional three and that's what this deal's come down to so Patrick Beverly traded to the Milwaukee Bucks and we'll see if he got this Buck team on the defensive end and that they could make a deep playoff run at the remainder of the 2024 season.